Hello everyone. So as you may already be aware, committee elections have just started and that means that you can self-nominate to be part of the Business Management Society committee for the next academic year. So as the current committee, we have decided to produce a little video for you all just to explain what are the benefits that we got out of being part of the Business Management Society committee. It's me again, um, Charlotte's the president of the Business Management Society. Um, I just thought I'd begin with explaining briefly about what my role entails. So I'm obviously leading a team of five, six including myself, um, but honestly it's just kind of like teamwork anyway, so I wouldn't even really say leading. Um, I also run quite a few events, um, either I run them or I support someone from the committee running them. Um, I'm constantly in contact with the Guild, um, liaising with them about events and about opportunities and stuff for students. Um, I'm also networking quite a lot with loads of employers to make to try and get them to come and do like guest speaking and stuff like that for students because I think that's really beneficial. Um, and running social media channels like Instagram, LinkedIn, um, they're the main ones really. I mean there is a Facebook one but we don't really use it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what my, my role entails. Um, but the best thing that's happened for me um, during my time as president was probably just all of the networking experiences that I've had. I've worked with companies like Peergrid, talk about, been on interviews with them, um, with Enterprise as well. We actually, I was actually working with Sophie um, from Enterprise, who is a recruiter, and I asked her to come and do a session with the Business Management Society, and because she saw all the transferable skills I was doing, all of the hard work that I was putting in, she actually gave me a job after it. So it's always, you know, networking is my favourite thing, and using LinkedIn for good, and supporting students, and giving them, them opportunities, but also kind of getting opportunities back because of this role. So that's probably the best thing that's um, come out of my experience here. Um, the why I think that you should join um, the role is pretty simple, why not? I mean, it's a really great opportunity as students. Um, it's something that's really flexible, it's really, it's not that time consuming. You know, if you've got an event, then yeah, you're probably gonna be putting a few hours in. Um, but realistically, you know, it's not that time consuming. So you get all of this experience to put in your CV and you've got all of these actual, like, real transferable skills that you can talk about in interviews and say where well, you've actually demonstrated them but also just having fun and just being part of a really really great community meeting loads of people in your course it really makes you feel a part of your course because you're talking to loads of people you're running events with them you meet people from maybe two years above you so it's really great for like networking and you can ask them about I don't know assignments and like some help or advice um, it just it's a really fun thing, but you also get so many opportunities out of it. So honestly, why not? That, that's my take. Thank you. Hi guys, so my name is Liam, and I'm the Vice President of the Business Management Society. I've actually got a bit of cream on my face. Um, so I just want to start off by telling you uh, what jobs I've done this year during COVID. Um, obviously, that's kind of taken away a lot of the fun, but we, we've, made it, we've made it worthwhile. Um, I mean, the main reason to join the Business Management Society for anybody, any prospective student who wants to be on the committee would probably, I'd probably say it's just the fact that you gain some invaluable experience, you meet people, you also like, you become the people that expand the network for the rest of the society, so it's, it's everybody that everybody else meets will meet them because you've decided to meet them, so you kind of get to shape and structure everything that you do and that is what a committee does in a job, um, in a career and I mean you'll be helping a lot of people too, the aspirations that you, you will generate from it and the fulfilment you'll get from once you reach the goals and those targets that you made as a team collectively I mean it, it feels so good. We've not even started yet, I mean I'm supposed to be, I go off on a tangent guys so I mean yeah I hope you enjoy the rest of this video but yeah, the experience is invaluable. Uh, you'll get to plan, manage, arrange events, and you'll just you'll get so much opportunity that a lot of other people won't. And if you miss out, I feel sorry for you because obviously nobody has to do this. 
but the I didn't even realise how much it would change me working in a team. Um, the networking is the biggest thing about it. Charlotte, our, our president, she's got so many connections. Um, I actually copied my link, well, I based my LinkedIn around her, around how she uses it as kind of like a Facebook for professionals, which it is. I think it's much better than um, than Facebook, 100%. But I don't know, like, <clears throat> so, reasons to join uh, as a vice president. Well, join for any role that you want in. I mean, this year we had two VPs, myself and Hannah. I mean, we, she's great. We had a laugh. We did. We worked as we we just worked collectively as a group. And you guys are going to be coming. You're going to have to the transition for you guys. We'll try and help these as much as we can. But at the end of the day, you guys are going to probably have a better time than we did because it's all it, it's going to be face to face interaction. The world's going to go back to normal. So I myself just guaranteed a job. Um, and I'd say the sh the skills that shaped me in this or were enhanced by this role as vice president. Definitely communication, planning. the and just being able to develop your mind further than you thought possible. And you guys are going through that transition from an adult to, uh, from, sorry, yeah, from, from a child to an adult or from a student to a professional, essentially. So if you're going to be a vice president here, say, the one thing I would say to you, hmm, the one thing I'd say to you is just enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm the Vice President of the Business Management Society. I'd say my favourite thing about being in the society is actually the social side of it, uh, particularly with the committee members. We've since become really good friends because obviously we've had to work closely together. Um, so it's just been really great fun to meet new people. Um, and I'd say the reason to apply is just the opportunity. It's a great opportunity. It's the biggest uh, society on campus. It's just a great way to meet so many people and it's such a great way uh, to look attractive in the eyes of the employers, seeing as you gain so many transferable skills and experiences such as networking and creativity. Hi, I'm Becca and I'm the secretary for the BMS this year. Um, the best part about being the secretary, I think, this year for me, has been the social aspect. So I've got to meet so many new people on my course, which has been amazing, um, and interact with loads of different people. Um, and an area where this was um, quite useful for me on an employability level was when uh, I led the group project with BP. So for that, I got to uh, work with BP, uh, which was really good to put on your CV and to show to employers that you're capable of managing a team and working with a team um, so that was really good anyone going for my role i would give you the advice of just be friendly uh, be able to work with people the one thing i found quite surprising about being secretary was i thought i'd be doing just one thing but the thing about bms that i love is that we're such a team and we just sort of slot in when it, when anything needs doing so you get to do loads of different roles and whatever, so you're not limited to just being a secretary or what you think that might be. So yeah, just be friendly, hardworking, um, committed to the team and I'm sure they'll love you. Hey guys, I'm Ben, I'm the Social Secretary for the Business Management Society. Um, and being Social Sec for me has been a great opportunity as someone who loves to work with other people. I've been able to work with a really fantastic team, organising events, socials and supporting other students during the pandemic, um, as well as developing career ready skills like project management and communication. Um, I'd say that being Social Sec and being on the BMS in general is a great thing to put on your CV. Um, it's already helped me stand out to employers um, and it would be definitely helpful as well if you are planning on looking for a placement. Um, I personally applied to be part of the BMS because I wanted that opportunity to organise socials and events. And if you've ever wanted that opportunity yourself to organise something like this, then I'd say this is definitely like the role for you. Um, during first year, we got the opportunity to organise a social, um, and that was definitely one of the most interesting and exciting experiences I've had at uni this far. And it's definitely something that I'd encourage anyone to do. Hey, I'm Anna. I'm the treasurer of the Business Management Society. Um, to tell you a bit about the role, it's everything you'd expect it to be in terms of um, reports and finances and managing all of that and working out what we have the money for, how can we make things that we really want to happen, happen, um, negotiating with venues, business owners, um, the guilds in terms of our accounts, um, sponsorships, um, yeah, really just looking at how can we make 
the best sofa tapas, whether that's balls or dinners or nights out or activities. Um, how can really bring things to life. So if you're someone who kind of loves that practical side of things, maybe loves negotiating with external venues and business owners, um, maybe has an eye for detail and is quite good at looking at um, yeah, how we really make things happen and not just the ideas, um, this is so for you, you'll love it. Um, on top of that, it's just such a nice team of people, there's going to be probably five or six of you. Um, you really get to bond with each other and really bond with your course, you meet so many people through your socials um, and it kind of makes you feel really part of your school in the uni um, and your degree in your course so yeah it's really fun and you feel like you're really involved. Um, on top of that it makes you so employable, there are so many stories I can tell of when I've had to use leadership or um, team working skills or time management or resilience, um, even bits of conflict resolution, you know, looking at um, what it's like to work with people who are different to you and have different strengths and weaknesses and that's so important that you can use that in interviews and actually have stories where you can say, oh this, this, this and this happened. Um, I have an internship for next year and I use so many stories from BMS and being on committee in my interview and I think it really really helps so yeah I'd really recommend if you're looking at how can I become employable at uni, how can I get involved, how can I feel like I have responsibility and I'm part of something, um, BMS and being on committee really really helps for that um, and yeah it's just so much fun and you've got really nothing to lose so I'd really recommend going for it.